First of all, before we get into the video, thank you guys so much. We hit 100K subscribers on the channel. This is a huge milestone, a huge goal for me. It's honestly a dream come true. What? I see. I, I can't even speak. Uh, it's honestly a dream come true, guys. So thank you so much. But we got some camos to get. So in our last video, Jason left a comment saying he wants us to do the sniper. So today we're we'll beginning the Pellington Gold Viper. When I tell you that this has been a grind, it really has. Trying to get this weapon leveled up has taken forever. So I feel like getting this done before Vanguard is not looking likely. But we did find a nice weapon leveling method out today thanks to NH, one of the mods here on YouTube. We also streamed, so I'm sorry if my voice is a little, a little hoarse, a little dry. But the method that we found is playing Outbreak with four players and just trying to get as many kills as we can using the Black Chest event. Not taking out the orbs, but just shooting the zombies as they spawn. Same thing with Orda when he spawns zombies. And I went from getting probably about three levels after an hour of playing round base to playing Outbreak for about a half hour and getting eight levels in the same game. So it is absolutely insane for leveling up weapons. And we will be doing that a lot in the future. So if you want to catch a stream, maybe hop in a lobby. Make sure you put those notifications on to see when we go live. But since it is level 50 we do have quite a bit done in the camo department grunge is completely done our crits we still need a, a, a decent bit so i i left enough so you guys can see me struggle you you sick you sick people we have uh about 70 63 look at math look at me doing math 63 aka punch kills vintage is done hold on really quick i just want to say i'm gonna take the cobra red dot off real quick you got a vintage the mana camo is gorgeous on the snipers this thing is beautiful Wait, you really can't even see it. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. That's all I wanted to show. Okay. Fauna, we're done with that. Topo, we're done. And then we just got to level 50, so we need to do our infection. So we need to get jackrabbit kills with this, which is going to be tough. So I think we might have to put on Shatter Blast. But for our attachments, we got the Cobra Red Dot. We have the 3.308 Stabilizer. We have the Reinforced Heavy Barrel on. I think I might do Tiger Team because it gives do boosted fire rate, boosted damage, reload. Yeah, there, this is a no-brainer. And I think I'm going to go with the Ember Sighting Point. Still going to keep the bruiser grip we need that movement speed oh uh, we're not high enough level to get the salvo nine round fast mag we're literally one level off that's a shame so i guess we'll stick with a fast loader Ooh, what do we go with here we don't really need ads speed but also we're fine like it, it helps i don't know we'll keep the speed tape on just because i don't want any other cons i don't i mean sprint to fire is probably pretty important and for our stock i think i'm gonna go with the sas combat stock just for that shooting move speed and the aim walking speed boost but for our field upgrade we are using tesla storm here i have it upgraded to level four I would have gone with Frenzied Guard. I feel like that's better for round base. But Tesla Storm works well in Outbreak, which we've been playing to level up our weapons. And also, it still works in round base. Maybe not as good as Frenzied Guard, but it's good enough. It's it's more versatile, I think. And with our other skills, I've upgraded our snipers up to four. Assault rifles are at four as well. Melee is at three. Here's our field upgrades. We still just have Ring of Fire and Tesla Storm upgraded. Our perks, we're getting there. So we have Jug tier five. Speed Cole is tier three. Quick Revive is tier five. Stamina Up's tier four. Elemental, we haven't upgraded at all. There's no point unless we get another uh, Flawless Crystal, I think it is. So once we get another Flawless Crystal, we might upgrade Elemental Pop all the way, but that's only just to get Electric Cherry. We don't really use Elemental Pop too much when grinding camos. Deadshot is level five. Tombstone, have not upgraded it at all. We don't really use it. Mule Kick, uh, I mean... We have all the other tiers are so much more useful. I don't really use three weapons anyways. That's perception. Uh, we don't really need tier five on that either, but PhD, I kind of want to get just so we can, we can Tony Hawk and get some kills, but I think we're good on that. I should probably just upgrade speed coal one more tier. Cause when we get speed coal at tier five, fire and reloading at full speed will be very helpful. Also our ammo mods. I have upgraded cryo to tier four and shatter blast to three or at two, but let's get it to three. And we're so close to getting the explosion size doubled. And when we get to tier five, that'll be nice. But that's it for our upgrades. Uh, a map wasn't left this time by Jason. Make sure when you guys leave your suggestions that you leave a map as well. Because otherwise, I'm just be playing Forsaken until the wheels fall off. And just a reminder, ZRG, banned. <laughs> Outbreak, banned. <laughs> we're not doing either. All right, here we go. I already know this is going to be such a struggle. The rounds go by so slow with snipers, it's ridiculous. So I'm just going to try to get the dead shot as fast as possible. I say this every time when I start at the portal, we're just going to save up like, what, 12k to be able to get through, which we'll probably do again. But dead shot is just so nice. I can't not play without it. Let's try to get some crits in while we can. I feel like me trying to aim on controller is like, I don't even know. It's bad. I don't even have, it's so bad. I don't even have like something to compare it to. Because without Deadshot, I'm lost. 
I'm nothing without Deadshot. I'm like a plane with no wings. What about that one? What about that that comparison? Okay, Pumpkin, what you got for me? Oh, a chalice right away. Let's go. We get our pack punch kills done very fast. We didn't have too many to do, but it helps out. Let's pop this. What do we got? More armor and a cruise missile. I might take that cruise missile just because you don't know what ha can happen while using a sniper. I can get cornered so easy and not be able to fight my way out. What is this? Bonus points? Double points. It always seems like we get double points before we hit the teleporter. And I almost just got cornered there. We just got done talking about getting cornered and I almost did it. Anyone else want to drop a jack-o'-lantern for me? Okay, 10,000. I think this should be fine. Let's grab our max ammo. I'll get as many kills as I can until I have to reload. And then we're leaving. Oh, there we go. Chemical camo. Oh, we got a jack-o'-lantern. I have to see what's in it. I think it's a chalice. Is that a silver one or a bronze? That's a bronze. We're going through. Oh, so far, we're already half our, our crits then kills. That's probably how this game's going to go. Pop this open. Let's go this way. Let's go through pizza. Grab the loose change on our way. What is that? Bonus points. Let's get it. Everyone off the stairs, please. Thank you. Ooh, watch the movement. I'm getting a little better at controller. Jeez, see how my voice is cutting out? I am getting kind of decent at controller. I mean, my movement still not the craziest. My aim, you know, probably less than that of a toddler, but it's better than it was a few days ago. Where's the part? There we go. I like how I always take the same path doing everything. It's muscle memory at this point. Let's run through TV. See, we'll, we'll switch it up this time. There it is. Open this up. There it is. There's my boy. There's Deadshot. Deadshot gotta be one of my favorite perks now that, that I'm playing on controller. It is literally way too nice. The MVP of this series is gonna be Deadshot. Look at that. I say look at that the second I miss that easy headshot. I can't win, dude. This commentator's curse constantly. Got a few easy headshots in here. Please don't kill me. Screw you guys. I'm going for the flashlight. There it is. Used it on the bench. There we go. Ended the round. Actually, I probably should have waited and killed the zombie when we're a little closer to the teleporter. I think we might be able to sneak in the build. I think we got it. Crack the knuckles. I don't know how this builds anything, but it does. All right, heading on in. I wonder who wrote this here. Revenge go wide. Was it our boys? Two more. What's up, longhead? And this guy. Wait, I missed. There we go. Pop this open. All right, abomination. Come on in. Let's see if we can one shot him. No. I one shot you. Oh, he's all the way underneath now. See what you zombies do when you block off the road or the stairs or whatever. Oh, not quite one shot. Almost though. Maybe if this was tiered up like once. There we go. Double max ammos. Why do they do this? They drop max ammos only when it's inconvenient. It's always whenever you get a max ammo for free, either from an assault wave, a dog round, or killing an abomination, or right after you buy ammo. What is the point besides just to, just to be a dick? There is none. Oh, Aether Wrench. We'll take that. What about this? Hey, fuck off. Another Aether Wrench. Double level. We'll grab this Molly. And Napalm Burst. I guess we'll take that in case we're not insta-killing. That'll be really good for abominations. You know what? Before I left lockdown, I've never gone over and looked at the portal before I lift it. So is everything off in here? No, you can still use the trial. Pack of punches off. And the portal is closed off. Okay. I was just curious. I've never actually walked past the button without pressing it. Got the loose change from PhD. We have 10k, so... K, so. Let's go. Shout out cheese. But we're gonna need quick revive and jug... So I'll just go this way on the way back. I don't know why I didn't grab him on the way here. We'll get that. I think I was just too excited to get to a dead shot. All right, come here, Jug. Oh, we need speed cola too. Man, we have to go back. And then I think those perks should be able to get us through uh, the, like, the first 20 rounds or so. We gotta open this. Oh, we're not gonna have enough to get it, I don't think. Let's check. Oh, 4,000. Perfect. All right, now we can go back. As long as these zombies get the hell out of the way. Oh, actually, since we're right here, listen, I don't I don't promote glitching or whatever. But if you stand right here, the zombies don't know what to do. I, I've been so tempted to just sit here and grind camos this way but like where's the honor in that where's the entertainment in that like come on who could sit here just killing zombies getting camos with no repercussions who would do such a thing who could possibly just be this sick in the head to sit here and say hey guys i'm gonna get gold viper and i'm gonna do it with a sniper and i'm you know and uh, there's gonna be zombies coming after me it's gonna be difficult god People that sit right here and shoot zombies from this spot should be ashamed. Like, honestly, how can you live with yourself doing this? Like, how do you do it? I don't understand. How is this fair to anybody? Those people that worked hard to grind for those camos. The blood, sweat, and tears in those camos. How could they do such a thing? Okay, that, that's enough of that. Honestly, I, I might do that for some weapon levels. I'm not gonna lie, but not today. Today, we're sitting on the truck. But if it does get a little too wild, maybe we, we say hello to our friend at the bridge. But we'll do what we can do while we can do it. It seems like a Billy Mays quote. Can I turn on the rampage inducer, but this thing does not shoot shoot fast enough to be able to catch up to it. Easy, breezy, beautiful, cover girl. Uh, goodbye. 
How do we get... Oh, it's because I have Napalm Burst. That's how. Normally, we get that from uh, the Tormentors dying from our, our Ring of Fire, but we don't got that on. But you just got to kill a Tormentor with fire to do that Easter Egg step. Or that Crystal Axe step, I should say. Oh, and where are my manners? Hold on. Stop inspecting so I can inspect. This is what the Pellington looks like with the first pack of which camo here. Pellington, one of the cleanest inspect animations. It's absolutely crazy that you can just flip the bullet out like that and catch it. Like, that is the smoothest animation. Just please let me get headshots. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Gotta buy it back. Oh, we need we need mule kick. That's what we need next. I really wish these jack-o'-lanterns drop perks and you could just literally do nothing but sit on your ass for a whole game. That'd be fun. Back up. Okay, let's get the death machine, please. Please let me pick it up. Thank you. Let's grab the aether tool. And we're all good to go. Oh, what's in here? Thank God it's not a mimic. Is that a silver chalice? It is a silver chalice. Guess what? We can't get it. I don't know why everything glitches out by this truck. That's stupid. We could have free pack a punch two right now, but nope, we got cucked. Let's just Tesla storm. Fuck it. They get close to me, they're dead. That's all I'm saying. That's easy crits. Tesla storm is actually a pretty underrated field upgrade. Because when you're playing with a group of people, it also just like links you together. So I'm pretty sure the, the testing name for it or whatever was called Lightning Links, and that makes a whole lot of sense. So let's pick up this chalice. This is what the Pellington looks like, Pack Punch 2 here on Forsaken. Very, very nice. Let's just keep getting that head. I, I already started like almost chuckling before I could get that joke out. I'm actually like too loopy right now. I've been playing this game for so long today. Just try to get levels for it. We already almost have our Tesla Storm back. I also think that's a huge advantage of having Tesla Storm over, what is it, Frenzy Guard? Because Frenzy Guard takes like three and a half hours to fill up your, your field upgrade. With Tesla Storm, we already have it back. I think it's just a little bit slower than Ring of Fire. All right, let's check now. 209 crits out of 333 eliminations. Not bad. We're, we're making the gap a little tighter here. Jeez, everything I'm saying is a pause moment lately. There we go. Entropathy camo. We're getting there. Gotta make sure these zombies stay back. We should really work on our jackrabbit kills while we have the chance. It's only gonna get tougher, especially with a sniper. It's so easy for a zombie to come up and hit you while you're sniping. Like right there. Get back. Okay, I'll walk away and reload for a second. What we got here? Insta kill. We'll take it. I think it's time we get mule kick. I'm starting to run out of ammo like crazy. What's up, mule kick? Hold on. I want to wait for a zombie to get close. It's fun using this perk machine as a trap. Look at that. Easy kills. I like how this, the mule kick trap, is so much better than the suspended hind. This thing is so useless. You know what? I'll use it right now just to prove it. It's round 15. This thing will still just hit marker zombies. Look, that's one kill. Two kills. Three kills. Still waiting on four. There's four. There's five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10. So only 10 kills at round 15 with this thing. And it took so long in between each kill. The mule kick machine kills that many zombies in about a few seconds. The most useless trap ever. They should upgrade it though, or buff it or whatever they want to call it. Because that, that would make it so much nicer. <laughs> All right, look, I, I can't help myself. You can't show me a spot like this and then expect me not to use it at least when I'm walking by it. Because they're all just over here party rocking. It's too easy not to use. I mean, oh. Gross. Who uses these spots? Disgusting. Be ashamed of yourself. But it is actually really nice for crits. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go back. I'm going to rampage inducer. Yeah, I'll rampage inducer. And then we'll stay here until we literally have to keep jumping off the truck and looping back around. Once that happens, we might just sit at that bridge. I, I think that's how we earn it. First, let me get these zombies out of the way and start out the rampage inducer. So five rounds of the rampage inducer with the Pellington. I feel like that's, that's more than enough. That's worth it. Oh, it's an abomination. Come on. I can't... Get it in its crit spot. We gotta go. We already have to jump off the truck on round 16. So let's test the storm. We'll get us crit eventually. There we go. Nice. That's one round down. Four to go. Examination camo. We're almost there on our jackrabbits. We have another Tesla storm. Let's use it. Tesla storm is actually so nice because they climb up here, stand still, and just let me get these crits. Except for one of Tormentors here and just ruins everything. Honestly, if we just use this and like stuns or decoys, we could stay up here for a lot longer than we normally could. So I'm gonna grab, start grabbing decoys. What we got down here? Another silver chalice. We've used that. Snipers would be so much better if they could collab more than two zombies at once. But can you imagine collabing at least like four? It'd be insane. Okay, let's jump off. I think 15 manglers or mimics just spawned. So that's cool. We're very close to getting our Tesla storm back. Holy shit. This Mimic do not want me to live. I literally need one more kill for this. There we go. Uh, maybe one more. There we go. Now we're chilling. And it even affects elites or specials or whatever. Pretty solid. We are getting way too many Tesla Storm kills, I'm starting to realize. Is there another Abomination? Is that what I hear? What the hell? There's one of you like every round. Hey, Abomination. Throw one. Come on. I'm already having to jump off of it. You're at 50k though. Lots of money from this. What's up, Abomination? How you doing? Come on. 
while he's critting. Do we kill him? Let's go. They're basically a one shot if they're if they're using their little crit spot. Let's go. We got one more round to go. Oh, disciple. You picked a bad day to come here. I got a sniper now. Where are you going to run from? Nowhere. You can't get away. Hey, okay, Tesla Storm. Nice and easy. There's our glitch camo. Let's reload for a second. Let's throw down a decoy. I think our Tesla Storm is about to end. Perfect timing. I'm going to throw another one down. Hey, go to the decoy. Stay away. Okay, decoys are gone. And so is my ammo. Okay, climbing back up. Last one. Oh, wait. No, we collided them. Get owned. Oh, mimic. Goodbye. Another mimic. Goodbye. Nice try. Let's see if we can withstand around here without Rampage Inducer. If we keep having to jump off the truck, we might have to just go to the bridge. So we'll just test it out. We'll test the waters. So far, so good. Tesla Storm. Whenever they get up here, you basically use it like you would a ring of fire. It just gives you ample amount of time to get these kills. Oh, got to reload. Oh, shit. All right. I'll finish out this round and then I I'm going to the bridge. Okay, what we got in here? Oh, a gold chalice. Let's go. Before we go ahead and move on to the bridge, this is what it looks like. Pack-a-punch three. Very, very clean. I love the pack-a-punch camos on this map. All right, let's head to the bridge. We're shameless today. I've been playing for so long. I think I deserve to use the bridge. Let's go right down here. I don't know how people find this stuff. Can any of them hit me? I'm just going to stand here for a second. Oh, the play counts can. This zombie could. Okay, so it seems like one zombie out of a few if they walk close enough to the edge here. But the rest don't. We can just get crits. Disciple, go away. Okay, this is actually so cheese. Conviction camo. I think we're done with our, our jackrabbits. I wonder if the abomination can see us here. Oh, well, can we get a kill from here? Uh-oh, it'd be yourself. Okay, I'm just gonna self-revive. I did not mean to grab that nuke. I guess since we hit it, I'm gonna go buy a self-revive from the table over here. Abomination, please? Leave me alone. There we go. There we go. He's a one shot. Just have to wait for that purple mouth. I can't believe this. We we're talking about how insanely OP that spot is. And then we instantly go down at it our first round. So maybe it isn't that cheese. All right, we're back to it. We just got to pay a little more attention. Just a little bit. I think we're safe to just aim this way unless a, a dog comes up or an elite. Because this is the guy that's always going to get us. The guy that walks too close over here. This is so nice, actually. What if this was intentional? They're like, you know what? We'll give them, we'll give them one insane spot for grinding camos. Because it's kind of crazy. Get off me. No! They knocked me again! Don't you knock me and run away. Get back here. I turn my head for one second and they're swinging at me. Look at them. They're all running away. I have to self-revive again. What is wrong with me? Oh, and a mimic. That's what I get. Oh, out of ammo. I'm boxing the mimic. Never mind. I need to leave. We need to go. Look at all those zombies. I don't know why I went this way. Oh, it's to grab the, the self-revive. But I'm going to run back towards Wonderfizz this time and just get all the perks I need. All right, let's go down the other zip line. Actually, we need to go through the portal. Jeez. How do I not know my way around this map yet? Then we head on down here. Zombies, excuse me. Tesla Storm. We will get Jug, Speed Cola, Stamina Up, PhD, Death Perception, and Mule Kick. Excuse me, fellas. Excuse me. Pardon me. And we're back on the bridge. Whenever those zombies start getting close and hit me, that's when I need to use my Tesla Storm one up here. Even using one of the cheesiest spots I've ever seen, I've still gone down the most times here. So is it harder? Is it easier? The world may never know. All I know is this is going to be a real good spot for grinding XP. I wonder what happens if I go to the other corner. I'm going to wait till the zombies pile up first. All right, they seem pretty piled up. What if I go right over here? Anything change? No. Am I safer? I probably should have seen if he'd hit me. Oh, well. Doesn't seem like I'm getting as many crits, but if I go to this spot, that's better. So this is probably the one I want to be at. I guess I just face this way until spawns stop, making sure I don't get hit. We'll get a few kills while we're waiting for some spawns. I feel dirty doing this. I feel gross, but it also, it feels so good. Just no effort getting kills. There we go. Let me just walk over here, get all the salvage, all that, that goody good. And we head right back up. I hope this isn't a bannable offense. We have one week left of this game. Like, come on, just let, just let me grind Dark Aether twice. Let me do it easy. Here, I'll, I'll even give you candy for it. Mangler could be a problem. Could be a huge problem. So if we ever see manglers, it's on site. Might need a loop around to get back up. So I don't trust going up that rope. This is a giant facility. Does it have a huge fake town in it? I want to know what it's for, but I feel like I need to play the campaign to find out. I feel like they do this because they don't know if you're on the bridge or not, or if you're jumping off. Like they're trying to get a head start by like beating you down the building. But also they think you're up here at the same time. Kind of interesting. No zombie, bad. If only melee weapons could reach that far. So this would be such a fire spot for them. This is actually so brain dead. I'm I'm losing brain cells doing this. But I'm gaining camos, so who's the real winner here? This is what a whole round's worth of loot looks like in one spot. 
It's not looking like I'm getting pumpkins from it though. So maybe that's the nerf to the spot. But now I have three decoys. So if I do end up getting knocked off this spot or fall off, I think we can get back pretty easily. Knock on wood. Okay, I gotta jump off. Let's try this actually. Let's try taking the rope. What is it like taking the rope? It's probably one of the least walked in areas over here. Oh yeah, the rope's perfectly fine. I don't know what I was thinking. We hit the rope and we're clean. We're ready to go. We just gotta pay attention for elites and make sure we're watching our six. Hey, Playcon, get out of here. Okay. The abomination can definitely hit us. So that's cool. At least it's not 100% safe. I don't feel that bad now. We're not really cheesing it too hard. Abomination, please get back. Get back, please. I'm begging. Die. Idiot. There we go. Oh, we finally got a jack-o'-lantern from here. Oh, we got two, actually. An aether wrench. We'll get that. And now we have this at legendary. What's in this? Uh, same stuff. Oh, wait. Actually, a ray gun. I'll take that. Nice secondary. I guess we'll get a pack three since there's a chalice right here. The most underrated part about this spot, I think, is its closeness to exfil. Because once we're done, if we're on an exfil round, it's going to be so easy to get out of here. We just run right over there. This is probably a good spot to try to go for round 100 with like the M79. So you just shoot it at your feet. What's in here? Another ray gun and a combat bow. Not bad loot. It is not very exciting up here though. But man, I do not care. And these are snipers and zombies. We'll take any help we can get. I wonder if I can get points from right here. No, that Tesla storm doesn't reach. I can just pop it every round and not have to worry about a zombie coming up to hit me. They'll just get stunned like that. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Get off me, zombie. Now, how do I get ammo from here? Let's try this. Decoy. Go over there. None of these zombies care about it. Okay. Nope. Nope. Bad call. Okay, so that was not the move. Where's ammo at? Why was ammo? Oh, it's down in Burger Town. That's not far. We can do that real quick. Pick that up. Wait for all the zombies to jump down. Get a rope. And we can go right back to it. Honestly, I think I should take Napalm Burst off of this. I should probably just switch this to Cryo. So that way it's not taking away any of our kills. Because we know for sure we can get our crits. Like, just very stupidly easy. Oh, there's Gold Viper. We're already done. We don't even need to worry about taking off Cryo or Napalm or whatever. Honestly, I might go get Shatter Blast and get this done quicker. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get Shatter Blast. That way we can get to our X-Fill faster. That was easy. Okay, there's Shatter Blast. Oh, wrong way. Why is this room even here? What's the significance of this room? Why is this here? It's really just for me to get trapped in. <laughs> I'll just ray gun until they're all stacked up, and I want to see what Shatter Blast can do. Hey, Mangler, not cool. Not cool. Oh, that was a long fall. I actually got a stomach drop from it. Climbing up back on the bridge. Zombies, get the fuck out of my way. All right, we got a fat stack of zombies here. There we go. Shatter Blast is insane right there. That was like a whole round's worth of zombies. This is slight work. No, Mangler knocked me off. Take the rope. The biggest threat to our safety here is a Mangler. Besides that, this is like 100% safe. Oh, there's a scare package over there. Guess what? Don't care. Bars. Let's Shatter Blast them. Let's go. If this was Shatter Blast tier five, the whole round would be gone. Speaking of the whole round gone, easy napalm or nuke. What is this called? I don't even know. I've been playing for way too long. My brain is mush. Oh, there's a crystal axe. Yeah, this spot's got to be even more broken with just a crystal axe. Because the crystal axe has like deceivingly long range. I try it out, but I don't care to pick it up. That's how lazy we're playing today. But our axe fills here. Let's go get it. Start her up. Let's make like a tree and get out of here. I feel like there's no fast way to get back to spawn from the axe fill. So you take that portal, you have to run all the way back through the first way. And if you take this way, you have to go all the way, take the rope, take another rope. Both ways take a, take a little bit to do. I think they, they about equal out, but we've made it. Let's bring out the death machine. Take that abomination. There we go. I'm going to spin around with it like we did with the flamethrower. And we're out of ammo. Who could have guessed shooting at nothing gets rid of ammo faster? We have three zombies left. Where are they? Here's one. Watch this. Trick shot. My sensitivity is so slow. We got to trick shot this one. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Okay, I'm just killing you. You get a knife. How about that? And then a slow sp spin. We'll take that. Is this guy really stuck in here? Come on, dude. Get with the program. I'm going to fail my exfil because of you. Okay, there we go. Oof. All right, so that took 1,500 kills, 746 crits. We probably added a little more there using our ray gun, but that's okay. That spot is busted. I'm sorry if I've disappointed you by using that spot, but I had to at least use it once. All right, now that that's over with, let's see what it looks like with Gold Viper. Ooh, that's decent coverage. Let's go. This is what it looks like with Plague Diamond. Pretty nice. And Dark Aether is clean. Actually, let's see what it looks like with the scope on it. Let's take this off. Head on back. Okay, so Gold Viper, the scope does not get covered, which is unfortunate. Plague Diamond, it does. Oh, Dark Aether, it should. That's that's a missed opportunity. Because it does it for the vintage camos. It does it for like every other camo. Why not Gold or Dark Aether? Come on. Oh, well, let's go see what it looks like in game. All right, this is what the Pellington looks like in-game with Gold Viper. 
eh, I, it's all right. I mean, you can kind of see the gold viper pattern on it, like the actual snake skin pattern on this, a lot better than you can on a lot of other weapons. But I don't know. Still not a big fan of it. it. Just seems like gross. Let's get one more inspect on it. Is there better lighting anywhere? Maybe on top of this truck? Eh, a little bit better. Nothing too crazy. It's all right. I'll, I'll leave it at that. But I think that about does it for today's video. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribe and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. Make sure you leave your suggestions in the comments below on what weapon you want to see me do next. But that is it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.